guys, this is Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and I'm back from vacations to Switzerland and then Europa Park in Germany and the vacations were well worth it, it was amazing, the park, Switzerland, the whole week was insane, it was very, very nice. But that's not the topic of today's video. Some days ago Intel released their 4514 drivers and it seems that Intel GPUs, Intel Arc GPUs are getting better and better. In July 2023, the Intel Arc GPU user experience is actually pretty okay, with the performance being much better compared to the released drivers, alongside little things that improve the quality of life, like for example, the driver's size getting reduced by half, a new and cooler icon for the software kit, and even the improvements done on the Arc control software, which are nothing less than massive, leading to a much better overall experience. And now, according to the release notes of the 4514 drivers, we had some more improvements in terms of performance in games like Deathloop and F1 2022 that previously had some performance increases as well, alongside a massive performance improvement for one of the best games of the Assassin's Creed franchise, stating an achieved performance of up to 313% of the performance achieved with the previous drivers. But I can actually tell you that for me, it was even higher, with up to 323% at 1080p, and if we actually count the 1% lows, with up to 428%, so up to 4.2 times better. And don't worry, because you'll be able to watch the outrageous results in the following benchmarks, but I'm pretty sure that you don't want to miss the outrageous deals of today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG More, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. And so, what about the benchmarks? The first game is Cyberpunk 2077 and we did have a massive performance uplift with the previous game patch that introduced the XESS 1.1, but it seems that the current drivers don't bring that kind of performance or any kind of performance uplifts at all, which is quite normal considering that the game is already running quite well. I couldn't test the F1 2022 because of a bug. It is what it is, I guess, but I did test Deathloop, where Intel claimed up to 10% uplift at 1080p ultra settings and up to 8% at 1440p very high settings. Still, that was without ray tracing, and it seems that, at least on the part that I tested, when using ray tracing, the performance uplift was close to zero. Diablo 4, on the other hand, was kind of a surprise because even though there was nothing mentioned in terms of performance uplifts, the newer drivers did increase the 1% lows at 1080p by 36% and the averages at 1440p by 6%, which is always welcomed, delivering better overall game smoothness as soon as the shaders get loaded. The start of the show, though, is Assassin's Creed Unity that at 1080p went from barely achieving 30 average FPS to delivering almost 100, translating into a 323% performance uplift, with the 1% lows going from 18.7 to 80 FPS, translating into a massive 428% uplift. And I mean, it is not like the performance was magically up with these drivers, it is more like the performance was extremely poor with the previous ones and the GPU was barely being utilized, leading to ridiculous performance numbers. And after testing Assassin's Creed Unity, I actually thought to myself, well, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was performing quite poorly with the previous drivers as well, and since both games use the same game engine, maybe, and it was a big maybe, the Intel drivers actually improved the Assassin's Creed Odyssey performance as well. And sadly, I was wrong, and it seems that Intel focused solely on Assassin's Creed Unity, as Assassin's Creed Odyssey FPS values were all within the margin of error and unusually low. A GPU like the RK770 should be easily pushing at least 80 average FPS at 1080p, but sadly, it isn't happening. It seems that Intel GPUs are much better now, but they still have a long way to go, and even more if we look into older titles that people still play nowadays. And concluding guys, well, the performance is indeed much better, and we did have a massive performance increase in Assassin's Creed Unity, and this doesn't mean much by itself, but it also, but at the same time, it kind of means that if Intel 
actually wants it, they can improve the drivers to the point of the older games performing well on their GPUs. And that's one of the weakest points of the Intel Arc GPUs. The older games on older APIs like the X11, uh, the X9 and so on, because these GPUs are not prepared for those older APIs and they kind of have to make a translation layer in order to make them work properly. And they kind of did that with Assassin's Creed Unity and the performance just shoot through the roof. I mean, the performance went to the levels where it should be from the beginning, okay? Let's say that. But the most relevant thing is actually the games that people play, the games that a lot of people play and the games that will actually come uh, in the future or that are being released right now. Those are the most important points that Intel should focus on and they are actually doing it. Uh, for example, Counter-Strike 2 still uses the, X, the X11 at least for now. So. I do believe that Intel GPUs will have kind of a rough time if Intel does not optimize for that game. For example, Apex Legends running the X11 is a complete massacre for the Intel Arc GPUs, okay? It runs very, very poorly. It should be running, let's say, at 300 FPS and it runs like 150, 160 FPS, sometimes even lower than that because of the huge CPU overhead in the Intel drivers with older APIs. Okay, Apex Legends and newer games are getting kind of ported to the X12, Vulcan and so on, so the performance on the Intel Arc GPUs will get better as well. But once again, people getting Intel GPUs with their control, uh, with their Arc control drivers and so on, people that want to play older games, well, you're gonna have a rough time, so stay away from the Intel GPUs if you're trying to play older games, uh, or at least, well, just wait, patiently wait, till they get the same treatment as Assassin's Creed Unity have. Yeah. And this all to say that Intel GPUs are getting better and better each month that passes. Uh, Intel is actually, is actually pointing in the right direction, in my opinion, and I can't wait to see what they will bring in the near future, like I am waiting to see what AMD brings in the near future, because it has been over a month, or at least almost a month, and no sign of any new drivers, no sign of FSR 3, no sign of HyperRx or something like that, no sign of anything. Uh, AMD is actually preparing something, but I don't really know what they are doing right now. And I also, Intel has also been working very well on the XES, XESS, sorry, XESS 1.1, like the one showing in Cyberpunk 2077, is actually very nice. Uh, it's very nice, not at the same level as the LSS, but very nice, like something in between FSR 2.2 uh, and the LSS 3, and I just can't wait to see what they're bringing, because, well, that's what I like to do, That's I like to test new features, I like to test new technology, new GPUs, and so on, that's what I like. So, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and see you in the next one.